Mayor and City Council, May 7th, 2018, to order. If you will please stand, I will lead the pledge, and Mr. Triplett will do the invocation. Please remain standing. I pledge allegiance. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today, and Father, we thank you for all of the many blessings that you've given us. Father, we thank you for our community. God, we are blessed beyond measure, and Lord, we just thank you for the, the freedom and the peace that we enjoy, the prosperity, Lord, that you have given us. Father, we thank you for each person, each family that's represented here this evening. We ask you to bless, lead God, and direct Lord, we pray that you'd be with our mayor and city council as they debate the business of the city. Father, we ask you to give them wisdom, discernment, guidance. We pray that everything that be said and done in this meeting will be acceptable and pleasing in your sight. And Father, we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. We are going to deviate just a little bit tonight, and I'm going to turn over to Mr. Councilman Lane. Uh, Good evening, everyone. We have a number of certificate of recognitions we're going to do where the city of Carrollton honors accomplishments from our students here in, the, in our school system of Carrollton. What we're going to do is we have five of them. We have the Georgia High School Association, um, Georgia Debate State Champions, the Georgia High School Association Quad A Chewing State Champions, the State Spelling Bee Champion, the State Literary Vocal Solo State Champion, and the Georgia High School 5A State Wrestling Champion. So I'm going to read all five of them, and then we're going to take our pictures, all right? So with the Carrollton High School debate team, um, real quick, this means a lot to me. I was on the Carrollton debate team, and Richard Bracknell, um, and we won state when I was there, I think, two years. Um, I didn't, but you had debaters that were really good. <laughs> um, Certificate of Recognition, May 7, 2018, the Carrollton High School debate team, Varsity Debate State Champions 2017-2018, whereas Carrollton High School Debate Team represented the Carrollton City School System and the City of Carrollton in the Georgia Forensics Coaches Association 2017-2018 Varsity Debate and State Championships in Marietta, Georgia on March 3rd, 2018, and whereas the Carrollton High School Debate Team won the 2017-2018 Varsity Debate State Championship title and whereas it gives the mayor and council a tremendous amount of pleasure and pride to express to all the members of the 2017-2018 Carrollton High School debate team, coaches, parents, friends, and fans, our sincere congratulations on continuing the Carrollton Trojans winning tradition, and whereas each of you are to be commended for an exciting, determined, and successful season for which we are proud you have earned, as well as the fine publicity you brought to Carrollton. Now, therefore, the mayor and the council are pleased to publicly recognize the following members of the 2017-2018 Carrollton High School debate team. They are Evan Abbey, Edward Bohannon, Cruz Collier, Chase Duncan, Pete Duncan, Hayden Harper, Darian Nicolaitis, Michael Morgan, Ruthie Reeves, Lee Curtis Richardson, Harrison Rogers, Gabby Smith, Janice Teal, Jada Thomas, the head coach is Richard Bragnall, assistant coach is Janie Simmons, I think I pronounced that correct, okay. For their fine efforts and present the certificate of recognition to each member of the 2017-2018 Carrollton High School debate team an expression of affection and admiration from all our citizens. If y'all, if y'all, if you're on the debate team, if you'll stand up for me, please, along with our coaches, everybody will join me around round of applause. <laughs> Congratulations. Richard, how many state champions have you won now? Ten state champions. Wow. Wonderful. Um, the City of Carrollton Certificate of Recognition, May 7, 2018, the Carrollton High School Competitive Cheerleading Squad, Class Quad A, Class 5A, State Champions 2017-2018. Whereas the Carrollton High School Competitive Cheerleading Squad represented the Carrollton City School System, the City of Carrollton, and the Georgia High School Association 2017-2018, 
Class 5A State Championship in Columbus, Georgia on November 11, 2017, and whereas the Carrollton High School Competitive Cheerleading Squad won the 2017-2018 Class 5A State Championship title, and whereas it gives the mayor and the council a tremendous amount of pleasure and pride to express to all members of the 2017-2018 Carrollton High School Competitive Cheerleading Squad coaches, parents, friends, and fans our sincere congratulations on continuing the Carrollton Trojan winning tradition, and whereas each of you are to be commended for the exciting, hardworking, successful season virtually we are proud you have earned, as well as the fine publicity you brought to Carrollton. Now, therefore, the mayor and council are pleased to publicly recognize the following members of the 2017-18 Carrollton High School Competitive Cheerleading Squad, Area Brown, McKenzie Brown, Kasten Caldwell, Catherine Ruth Carter, Sammy Cooney, Ali Dean, Katie Dorch, Savannah Duncan, Claire Fannin, Hadley Green, Caroline Newton, Nuri Reese, I think I'm gonna mispronounce this one, Daha Shepard, uh, close, well, how do you say it? Deja, okay, congratulations, Deja. Deja, my name is Matt, everybody calls me Matt, so, um, Savannah Sullivan, Ansley Underwood, Helen Vissering, Haley White, Taylor White, Olivia Windham, and Bailey Woodruff. If y'all, if, if young ladies will stand up, let's give them a round of applause for their coaches. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, and Elizabeth Sanders and, and is the head coach and the assistants, Kelsey Shannon. And how many state championships for, is this for y'all? This is... Two for these girls, that's incredible, wonderful. The City of Carrollton recognizes Blair Lapham, the 2008 5A Literary Girls Solo State Champion, Georgia High School Association. It is with great pleasure and tremendous pride that the Mayor and the Council of the City of Carrollton expresses our sincere congratulations to you on winning the Georgia High School Association 2005 um, a Literary, literary, literary Girls Solo State Championship on March 17, 2018 in Beaufort, Georgia. You are to be commended for this accomplishment for which you have earned by hard work, dedication, and determination. Thank you for your fine publicity you have brought to our community and we are pleased to the publicity and commend you for your fine efforts and present the certificate of recognition as an expression of the affection and admiration from the mayor and the council for all the citizens of the city of Carrollton, Georgia. And Ms. Where's Miss Lippum? Blair, is she here? Thank you. Hey, Blair, if y'all join me. <laughs> uh, the city of Carrollton um, recognizes Luke Frost, the 2018 5A wrestling state champion for 106 pounds. It is with great pleasure and tremendous pride that the mayor and the council of the city of Carrollton express our sincere congratulations to you on winning the Georgia High School Association 2018 5A Wrestling State Championship on February 10th, 2018 in Macon, Georgia. You are commended for this accomplishment for which you earned by hard work, dedication, and determination. Thank you for your fine publicity you have brought to our community, and we are pleased to publicly commend you for your fine efforts and present the certificate of recognition as an expression of the affection and admiration from the mayor and council for all the citizens of the city of Carrollton, Georgia. Mr. Frost, if you'll please stand up. Thank you, Mr. Frost. Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry, thank you, Matt, for giving me this hard to put. I'm just gonna keep it real and ask, how do you pronounce the K-Y-U-A-L-E-G-R-E? Q. Q Allegre, all right. Q Allegre. Q, could you please stand? Oh, I know you, hey Q, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> the master speller. This is from the office of the mayor of Carrollton, Georgia. This is a certificate of recognition. May 7, 2018, could you remain standing, Q? Thank you. State Spelling Bee Champion, Georgia Association of Educators State Spelling Bee. It is with great pleasure and tremendous pride that the Mayor and Council of the City of Carrollton express our sincere congratulations to you on winning the Georgia Association of Educators State Spelling Bee 
on March 16, 2018 in Plains, Georgia. Did you meet the president while you were there? Oh. You are to be commended for this accomplishment for which you earned by hard work, dedication, and determination. Thank you for the fine publicity you brought to our community, and we wish you all the best as you travel to National Harbor, Maryland, to compare or to compete, I need a spelling bee, <laughs> to compete in the Scripps National Spelling Bee Championship later this month. We are pleased to publicly commend you for your fine efforts and present this certificate of recognition as an expression of the affection and admiration from the mayor and council and all the citizens of Carrollton, Georgia. In witness thereof, it's signed by Mayor Walt Hollingsworth. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for Q Allegre. <laughs> State Spelling B Champion. That's big, man. I imagine Mr. Bracknell's already recruited him to be on the debate team, so. <laughs> I would. <laughs> if we didn't have the draw to the debate team come first, we're going to take it off
creator. That's a great idea. All right, thank you very much, Mayor Hollingsworth and members of the council, city staff, everyone else, citizens. This is from the office of the mayor. It's a proclamation uh, of appreciation presented to Ms. Orabel Clark. Ms. Clark and family, would you please stand as I read? Before we move on, let me say that Ms. Orbel Clark is the host or hostess of Sunday Evening Gospel, and your voice filled uh, every room of our house when I was a little boy on Sunday evenings with gospel music. So I thank you for everything you've done and for pulling our community together and all the announcements and all the wonderful things that you've done to make Carrollton a better place to live. This is a proclamation of appreciation. Whereas Orbel Clark is known throughout Carrollton and the West Georgia area as a voice of wisdom, hope, and a positive spiritual influence. And whereas Orbel Clark has made it her mission for over 42 years, that's almost our life, man, 42 years to serve our Lord by spreading the gospel on Sunday evenings over WBTR B92 country radio airwaves and Whereas Orbel Clark inspires men and women in our community of all ages, all races and denominations to be kind, understanding, generous, loving, and forgiving of one another. And whereas throughout Orbel Clark's radio career, she has gained the respect, love, and affection of our community. And whereas Orbel Clark's exemplary commitment to serving others and sharing the gospel should not go unrewarded. Now, therefore, the mayor and council do hereby express admiration and appreciation to Orabel Clark for her devoted service to spreading the gospel in our community and the West Georgia area. Signed the seventh day of May 2018 by the mayor and Mayor Pro Tem Gerald Bird. Uh, Ms. Orabel Clark and family, if you could come up at this time, please. Let's give her a hand, everybody. All right, this next one is for a very dear friend of mine, a very special person who's really a friend to everyone in this community. And he's our official ambassador. 
we're going to forget the word unofficial. I think he's the official ambassador of this city. He's Mr. Fred Richards, everybody. Come on, people. We held a, an Easter egg. <laughs> we love you. We held an Easter egg hunt the other night for some kids who were kind of forgotten about in the world. And I heard his name more than three times mentioned by those kids. And they were really small. And I thought, that's really special. They know who he is. They believe that he is the Easter Bunny. And I believe you're the Easter Bunny. And Santa Claus and all those other wonderful things. This is from the office of the mayor, Carrollton, Georgia. It's a proclamation of appreciation presented to Mr. Fred Richards on May 7, 2018. Whereas Fred Richards' irrepressible presence, outsized personality, who wrote this? This is perfect. <laughs> Booming, friendly voice, quick wit, and acts of kindness and compassion have made him known throughout Carrollton and West Georgia as an altogether legendary character. And whereas Fred Richards has been in private practice in Carrollton as a licensed professional counselor and a licensed marriage and family therapist, bless his heart, since 1978, helping others find meaning and deal more effectively with pain, loss, and the emotional challenges of life, and has, by a shining example, helped West Georgia learn that communication, empathy, and un I'm sorry, empathy and unity are vital, are vital parts of community. And whereas Fred Richards, through his counseling, civic club service, acting, artwork, his unofficial status as goodwill ambassador, and Carrollton's eternal master of ceremonies has shown us that a community is not just intersections of streets or rows of buildings. It is the people whose lives intersect every day and whose voices enliven our conversations, public and private, whose minds make the decisions that serve the greater good. And now, therefore, the mayor and city council do hereby express admiration and appreciation to Fred Richards for helping people understand, cooperate, and communicate with one another, build interpersonal bridges, along paths that intersect with each other to form this community of Carrollton. In so doing, he has not only become a well-known community character, but exemplifies and embodies the character of this community, signed by the mayor of the city and Mayor Pro Tem. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Fred Richards a hand. And could you please bring your lovely wife, Anne, up as well? Thank you. Uh, 
I've been to see one counselor in my life, believe it or not, and it was this guy right here about 20 years ago. And I uh, went twice, and, and I don't know what he said, but he got me crying within the first 10 minutes. So I think he talked about or asked me about my dad like any good counselor. But anyway, thank you very much. It, it, uh, it helped me out then. You're, you're a good man. Anyway, I got a quick little story, and then I want to recognize someone <clears throat> tonight. Um, actually, Saturday afternoon, I went for a bike ride. Uh, pretty days, y'all remember, Mayfest was going on. So I got on the green belt and was tooling around on a probably a 1994 Trek that I bought from a buddy of mine who's sitting back here. And parked it, went in the store, and didn't lock it. Y'all know where this is going. I walked back out 10 minutes later, and the bike was gone. So I was like, okay, this is great. i got to call my mom, and she's going to call me an idiot. And mom's back here as well. It, but it was just dumb, but I, I did it. Luckily, I had my cell phone with me and my billfold, so they didn't take anything. But I got to thinking, well, I guess, I mean, obviously I could just forget about it, but um, maybe the police can help. At least if they see it or if I describe it and there's a police report, they'll, they could help out. So I called uh, uh, Chief Deputy or Deputy Chief Dobbs. He put me in touch with another sergeant that was on duty, and uh, next thing you know, they show up, do the police report. I'm wrapping this story up. But anyway, do the police report. He said, all right, well, the bike will probably show up uh, somewhere, and if it does, we'll obviously recover it for you, but I'll just go and give you a ride home. So we're heading back home uh, in the police car, uh, and I get a call from a guy named Adam Oliver. Stand up, Adam. <laughs> a lot of y'all know Adam. He runs a West Georgia bike shop down here on, on Bradley Street. Like, why does he call me? He said, hey, dude you sell that track that you brought in here to get your wheel repaired numerous times? I was like, no, but someone's got it. He said, well, they just got here. I said, well, don't let him leave. So, <laughs> of course, his, his, his shop is right, right here on Bradley Street. Mayfest is going on. He was just calling me to, to check on it. And uh, so I was riding with, obviously, a sergeant. He calls the radio some other guys. Within 30 seconds, there was, what, six cops outside your business? <laughs> Again, during Mayfest. Uh, they obviously got the guy. I got my bike back. Adam had to repair repair my front tire. I think he flipped it or something and then it dented the front tire, so blew it out. Long story short, Adam, thanks for being a good, vigilant citizen, getting my bike back, and um, sorry for the little bit of a publicity you got for the wrong reasons. People thought he had a chop shop going in there or something <laughs> or running drugs. But anyway, come on up. I got a little gift for you here from the police department. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, Chief Richards gave us to me. It's a challenge coin. So uh, anyway, got the Carroll Police Department on there. I didn't get you a nice little flight like everybody else, but it's just as good. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Adam. Right. Hey, no, get your pitch right over here. Hang on, Jimmy. I was going to say I'd be amiss if I let Jimmy Pope get out of the uh, building. If you'll come back in here for a second. Um, Carrollton School Board, Dr. Jimmy Pope, Dr. Rothschild, Dr. Halbertus, um, Michelle Morgan from the County Commission. Um, David Godwin, he's hiding over here in the corner. I'm sorry, David. I thought everybody was sitting together over there. Um, thank you very much for showing, bringing all your students. Um, it's a great time tonight. Thank you very much. You can go home now, Jim. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, David. Thank you all. Thank you.
There's really nothing more exciting left. You're more than welcome to leave, but if you want to stay, <laughs> watch us buy a bunch of stuff. I guess it's time. Let's go back to the program here tonight. Um, item number five, citizens' comments. Does anybody have anything they want to bring before the council? If you do, please come to the podium, state your name, address, three minutes on your comments. I don't believe I can lure anybody up. Good enough. Item number six, uh, the minutes. Y'all had a chance to review and. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes as written. I have a motion, do I have a second? I have a second. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please raise your hand. Brings us down to mayor and council comments. Anybody got anything you want to say? Uh, first of all, Mr. Mayor, if I may, I would like to uh, uh, just show uh, my support and sympathy to uh, Tim Grizzard and his family uh, for the loss of his wife. And uh, we ask that everyone in the community continue to pray for Tim. and. Uh, Pray for his family and pray that they be strengthened every day. We know it's hard and I can't relate, but I'm certainly here if you need me, Tim, and your family as well. And uh, in that same wind, I would like to thank you um, for being responsive. Anytime I call you, you always jump on whatever it is that people are uh, bringing to my attention, like the traffic light on Alabama Street. It's holding a long time, but you're working on that, and we really do appreciate that. And I would like for the citizens to know that uh, we hear them loud and clear, and that has been brought to the attention of the city, and the city has brought that to the attention of the state. Um, also, I'd like to thank you, Tim, and to the staff as well for the bathrooms that are coming in uh, the park on Robert Hendricks, which has never had bathrooms before, and the when people have an event there, they have to go in a home or leave to go, or I mean, God forbid, they're going in the woods to use the restroom. So thank you for moving forward with that. Also, I would like to thank the rec department and everyone else involved in the Easter egg hunt that we held, held the other day. Our numbers went down a little bit. We had 1,000 kids last year. This year we had about 600. Joel, thank you for sending your guys, Jimmy. Thank you as well. Peter, thank you to your staff for making that Easter egg hunt a big success. Also, this past Friday, we planted the garden in the community, uh, in the food desert over in West Carrollton. And I would like to say Peter Meyerhofer and his staff came out, rolled their sleeves up, and got dirty for about maybe, how many hours, Peter? Four? I told you 15 minutes, but it turned into four hours of seriously getting dirty. We were all terribly dirty, but thank you for the work that you do. And uh, thank you to Mike for the demos that continue to go down. And I would like to ask everyone in the community to help, help us keep our food pantries filled because there's somebody hungry somewhere all the time. So thank you all for helping us fight hunger with the uh, community garden and with our food pantries. And uh, that's it. Tim, I just want to join Walt as well. Um, your family's been my heart and my prayers and my thoughts um, from the tragic death of your wife. And um, I had the opportunity to meet all eight of your children and their family, I wish under better circumstances. Um, but they're all gentlemen and ladies, and you've done it, you did a, I was very impressed with them. And um, again, I know this is just a hard time. And I agree with what Mayor Pro Tem said, you've assisted me just in the last week on some citizen concerns and it's amazing to me that you've been able to do that and focus on your job with everything you're going through with a, a young son I believe that's 14 and then another child that I believe has Down syndrome so you'll continue to be in my family's thoughts and prayers thanks Tim I'd also like to just echo the uh, comments offer my condolences continued and if there is anything that um, any of us up here or anybody in the community that we can do to stretch out a helping hand, um, as always, don't hesitate to give us a call. 
I do want to also thank city staff. Uh, ongoing, every month we get a departmental report. It's 120 pages long, and you guys compile all this information, Libby, all city staff, to help really show what is going on in the city. And I think it, it's a true testament of the leadership within the city, which goes back to you, Tim, for getting the right people in the right positions to do the things that they need to be doing. Um, I really want to just say thank you for continuing to operate without hiccup um, all times of the year. Thank you so much. Uh, Tim is um, not only our city manager, but he's also a good friend of mine, and I'm not ashamed at all to, to call him that. Uh, without, I get choked up in situations like this sometimes, but uh, Tim has cried in front of me. I've cried in front of him. Here I go. He's fixing to start. And uh, and I, I grieve with him. So, Tim, thanks for all you do for our community. And praying for you and your family. Um, <clears throat> Tim, our hearts go out to all of us, go out to you, and we want to appreciate the make a comment about city staff and Libby and Erica and getting food and stuff down and cards and very appreciative of what y'all back us up with and we couldn't do it all without y'all helping by any stretch of the imagination. Um, troops really rallied up and I want to say thank you to all that. <coughs> um, other than that, um, I'll turn it over to you. Well, I thought I would uh, kind of keep it dry during this, but uh, all these kind comments, I'm going to struggle with that. Oh, uh, I want to thank uh, Andy and her staff for Mayfest being such a huge success. I want to thank Peter and his staff for the gymnastics meet being such a success. Uh, the budget is ready, but I think we need to go through it again. If you gentlemen could stand another work session, we will try to make it quick. But Libby will be contacting you about a time that that would work. And again, I, I can't begin to name all the people that have uh, supported us and helped us. Uh, so <laughs> I just say that the staff here are also friends, and this city has been a great friend to me, and I appreciate it. So thank you. Item number nine, approval of agenda items for consideration. Mayor, I need to add a couple of items, if you don't mind, that weren't on the original agenda. We had um, two items. One, the University of West Georgia, as you know, runs certain bids through the city. They do that to encumber money that they would normally lose if it was not spent by the end of their fiscal year. When they encumber it with the city, they're able to hold that uh, money for a, a further length of time. So you will occasionally see bids that we do for them that they uh, reimburse us for in its entirety. Uh, so I'm going to ask you if you would insert an item three and four, which is a bid award for the University of West Georgia Campus Center parking lot B, and then an item uh, four, which is, has nothing to do with the university, has to do with our police department. They have a very poor car that they're using for a K-9 vehicle and uh, Joel would like to take money from the drug fund. It will not come out of the city budget. It will come from the drug fund and buy a police car, and I'll give you the details of that once we get to those items on the agenda. All right. We have an amendment to the budget, I mean to the items of approval. Motion. I make a motion to a, approve the agenda items with the added police car purchase and bid award for University of West Georgia Campus Center parking lot. A motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. Motion carries. Ms. Stuttered, Lake Carroll Village Overlay. First item on your agenda is a um, grant program, a beautification grant program um, that goes hand in hand with the Lake Carroll Village Overlay District that you approved in March of this year. 
Uh, the beautification grant program guidelines are attached and they're in your agenda. Uh, this program, very, uh, it's very similar to the Main Street, downtown Main Street beautification program. Um, basically, what we're hoping is that we'll, it will foster economic development in that Lake Carroll Village overlay um, and the beautification of the businesses in the corridor. Um, if you look at your packet, uh, it talks about some of the eligible uses for the proposed grant. It can be everything from signage to landscaping to facade repair, uh, exterior paint, awnings, uh, even some parking lot repair, especially if they're going to add, um, you know, if it's part of a larger landscaping plan, uh, bike and pedestrian facilities, and then also community spaces. Uh, the thing the grant cannot be used for is, is for rent payments, lease or mortgage payments, utility bills, uh, purchase of any sort of inventory, um, salaries, payroll, um, or expenses or work that are already started, that are, that are already underway. Uh, the guidelines, the proposed guidelines for the grant, it would be a 50% matching grant. Uh, what we are requesting at this time is to allocate $50,000 per year for this particular program uh, with, not, with one grant not exceeding $10,000. Uh, the grant program uh, would be administered through the CCDBC, which is the Carrollton Corridor Development Beautification Committee. Um, and funding priority would be uh, given to those properties that are directly fronting Bankhead Highway. Um, and these grant uh, applications would be, would be reviewed monthly. Um, we are requesting at this time that you adopt this program for it to become effective uh, with the FY18-19 budget. Uh, the funding source for this particular grant would be through occupational tax revenues from the Bankhead Highway Corridor. I'm here if you have any questions. Just from the Bankhead Highway Corridor, is that what the funding is? Uh, yes, well, we've, we've, our funding, our revenue source would be from the Bankhead Highway Corridor, yes. Uh, basically the overlay district. So just occupational tax mm -hmm. from the bankhead. Yes. And a ten thousand dollar max is. Mm -hmm. You said it was a matching. It is. A, it is a fifty percent matching grant, so they wouldn't be able to pay, but for fifty percent of their project up to ten thousand dollars. Any questions? Have a motion we adopt or accept or? Uh, <clears throat> I make a motion that we accept the Lake Carroll Village Overlay Beautification Grant Guidelines. Second. I have a motion and second. Any more discussion before we vote? Seeing none, all in favor, please raise your hand. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Item number two, bid award, University of West Georgia Student Health Center Electrical. Tim. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this city, at the request of the university, uh, bid out the uh, off-site electrical uh, utilities for the new uh, uh, student health center that is being built uh, in conjunction with Tanner at the university campus. We received two bid, bids. The low bid was $269,210.41 from Coggins Construction Company, which is J.M. Clayton Company. This was an RFP, so we were not necessarily required to take the low bidder, uh, but when the uh, points were, were tallied, the low bidder was also the, the uh, bidder with the most points. So uh, <coughs> we recommend that you award that. That will be reimbursed by the university along with a 5% administrative fee. Any questions? I have a motion we accept. A motion, do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. Bid award, University of West Georgia Campus Center parking lot fee. Um, along the same lines, the same project, uh, the university asked us to bid out paving for a parking lot on this same project. Uh, we received two bids, one from Baldwin Paving, the other from Carl Owens Construction. Uh, it again is an RFP, but the low bid is $645,900 with Carl Owens Construction. Uh, he is also the, uh, it is an RFP again, but he is also the high scorer on points. So we recommend that you award that to uh, bid to Carl Owens Construction. Again, it'll be reimbursed by the university along with a 5% administrative fee. I'm sorry, Roy just pointed out that that is a 15% fee on this job, sorry. Any 
Any questions, any discussion, guys? I'm going to recuse myself on this one, just in case. <laughs> Make a motion we um, approve this bid to Carl Owen Construction. I have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Motion carries. Tim, police vehicle purchase. Um, we have a uh, 2011 Crown Vic, and it only has 71,000 miles, but it is in terrible shape, and it is being used as a canine vehicle. Uh, Crown Vics are a very poor layout for that. Uh, Joel has uh, ample money in the drug fund to buy an Explorer. An SUV is the right vehicle for those uh, K-9 units. And so the state contract is with Hardy Ford. It's $26,969. And uh, again, the, the vehicle in question will be held in backup as a backup K-9 unit. So, uh, and then we will retire out of the fleet, one of the older vehicles that has 140-some-odd thousand miles. So we ask that you approve that. It will not hit the general fund budget. Again, it, it comes from seized drug funds. Any questions? I'd like to make a motion we approve this. I have a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. Motion carries. Damn, you're the hot shot tonight. Appointment, Historic Preservation Commission. One. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Ms. Margaret Adams' uh, term on historic preservation expires May 1st, or expired May 1st. Since she had served two consecutive terms, she's ineligible to be reappointed. Uh, the, we're requesting that you appoint Christy Garrett. Uh, I think you know Christy. That's the wife of Ben Garrett. Uh, she resides in the designated in-town South Historic District and has indicated she'd be willing to serve. Any questions? Make a motion we adopt this. Christy so Garrett. So a second, Mr. Bird. Thank you, Mr. Bird. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, please raise your hand. Tim, appointment, Carrollton Corridor Development and Beautification Committee. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Andy Camp had been uh, a member of this uh, committee and has resigned uh, due to uh, professional uh, requirements that elsewhere his job is taking him out of town a lot now. Uh, and so we have an opening there uh, and, and basically ask for your nominations. I know some of you have discussed some names, so that, that is, again, up to this council. I'd like to nominate um, Debbie Neal for this position. A second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Oh, just nominated. I second. I second his okay. Any discussion? I'll make a motion we appoint Debbie Neal. I'll second that. All in favor, please raise your hand. Nominations, Carroll City County Hospital Authority. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As you know, this is a, um, what the city is to do is to approve a slate of candidates and the hospital authority itself will pick uh, from those, uh, one for each position. Uh, this slate of candidates is actually generated by the mayor and the chairman of the county commission. And so for position one, the three candidates are Kirby Butler, Jack Jenkins, and Fred O'Neill. For position two, it's Wanda Calhoun, Susan Fleck, and Deidre Rouse. Uh, the position one is to replace Steve Adams. He is not eligible for renomination due to this time. Uh, he served, uh, he has served on this authority. And then position two is to replace Bob Stone, who again is not eligible. So we ask you to approve that slate of candidates as written. Any discussion on this? It's just like we did last year. 
make a motion we adopt this. I make a motion that we adopt the slate of candidates list position number one and the slate of candidates position number two. Motion and second. Thank you, gentlemen. Any discussion? All in favor, please raise your hand. Motion carries. I guess it's down to executive session, pending letter. I just asked for just a very brief executive session. We had contact on two potential pieces of litigation that, frankly, I consider very trivial, trivial and I'd like to give the council the background on it. It shouldn't take more than five minutes. Okay, now we have to vote to go into executive session. So you want to handle that, Chuck? <laughs> yeah, we'll need a motion to go into executive session to discuss um, pending and threatened litigation. So moved. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Motion carries. We'll be going to executive session. Thank you very much. No, Dr. There's Albert. no decision to make from it. There'll be no vote. There'll be no vote. Hey, thanks, Dave.
about what? I don't care about that. I wouldn't have even noticed it. We just need to make a motion. Go back in open session. So moved. I have a second. I have a second. You can't do that. You're set. Roar a second. I have a motion and a second to go back in open session. All in favor? Please raise your hand. Motion carries. Three more business to come before this council. Motion to adjourn. Hey, I'm just curious. What can we do? Even if we wanted to object and say, I don't like that slate of candidates, we can't do anything. Nothing. Uh, that made any sense to me. So Chuck, it has to come before us? Uh, I believe that that's... Well, maybe next year I'll, I'll want to prove it. Come on with my own slate. It's it. Just throw up. Make it, you know, put everybody upset. Tell Marty I'm going to put my own slate in. Well, you know, it's kind of like one time ago, and I had this at the water park. Oh, approve this bond, but you're not on the hook for it. We're not on the hook for it. We don't need to approve yeah. it, do we? Okay. It's like cosign this loan. It means nothing. Uh, oh, <laughs> don't, yeah? Don't cosign it. Chuck, by the way, that goes back to the okay. house. Sorry, mm -hmm. uh, Y'all will get a piece of paper and from Libby and sign some stuff on the... Uh, I don't know if we can talk about this or not, can we? I think we have a journey to go to. Yeah, we can, can we? Libby, I can't see Libby's going to send y'all something. <laughs> Is that it? We're adjourned? Yeah. Wow. Hey, babe. Good to see you. <laughs>